Whoa, man. Oh, my God, guys. I'm so high. Oh, my God, man. I just smoked some toilet bowl cleaner. No, oh, I'm feeling good. <laughs> so, uh, police arrest a man for sexually assaulting a beaver. Hmm. Yeah, beaver. You guys ever... Well, you know how they call it. They call the... So they're, they're slang for the vagina beaver. That's a thing, which I love. Because, I, I mean, I love vagina so much, so much. But actual beavers? No, I don't, I don't want to love them very much. No, I'm not interested in that. That doesn't look like an attractive beast, not going to lie. It looks like it's got sharp, prickly fur. And uh, I don't think rubbing my junk on that's going to feel very good. But, but apparently for somebody else in this world, they thought, yeah, that's what I want. Come here, you little beaver. I want to I wanna thank my buddy Ryan for sending me this. Ryan's been very active with the emailing me back and forth. He's amazing, and he sent me various articles. Uh, this is one of them. <laughs> and I had to, it, and he lives in the state of Washington, which is where this, these shenanigans have occurred, where a man has been arrested on animal cruelty charges after a woman said she witnessed him sexually assaulting a beaver in Kennewick, Washington, last night. <laughs> the woman said she saw someone had run over an animal with a car, so she tried to help this animal animal by wrapping it in a towel before going home to get a container to put it in. She says when she returned about 30 minutes later to the fallen animal, she found a man on top of it with his, with his pants unzipped and he was uh, attempting to have sex with this beaver who had just been hit presumably by a car. Uh, so not only was he having sex with a beaver, he was having sex with a, a bruised, battered and possibly bloody beaver. Is that enough bees? Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't like the beaver was in great shape he was still, and still for this guy he was like that is attractive to me this guy must have been wasping or something I mean I don't know where you in, how in your mind that a, a recently destroyed beaver is attractive to you I mean I'm, I don't even find I mean obviously this beaver was just hit by a car I mean, this guy's still like yeah look in your best right now beaver come here I would I couldn't even have I couldn't even bring myself to, <laughs> to to have sex with a with a human woman who had just been hit by a car. That's. But maybe I'm old school. All right. Maybe I'm a prude. All right. Because <laughs> apparently, you know, being bruised and battered and bloody isn't is, doesn't isn't a turn off for some people. Uh, even if you're if you happen to be, you know, a forest animal. Uh, the witness who came back to saw the man with his pants unbuttoned over the beaver called the police to report the incident, incident, and when the officers arrived, they arrested this 35-year-old idiot uh, named Richard Delp, who was also found in possession of methamphetamine. Just the methamphetamine or methamphetamine and uh, wasp repellent? I wonder. we got to get to the bottom of this. He's facing charges of animal cruelty and possession of a controlled substance called methamphetamine. <laughs> the witness said, unfortunately, the beaver did not survive. Poor beaver's last moments. Can you imagine? Your last moments is a guy, a nasty man on meth, trying to make love to you. How? And you're like, you're you're in pain. You've been hit by a car. You're, you're you're battered. You have internal injuries and wounds. And a man, a, a something, a, a completely different species, is, and and a species that you've avoided your entire life because we're terrible. We're terrible. Every time an, a wild animal sees us, they run away with good reason. We destroy and toxify the environment that they live in. <laughs> of course they're going to run away. And then your last dying moments, one of these, one of these jerk-offs is on top of you, humping you. I mean, this is just the worst way to go out. And I hope this man does so much jail time. I just do. And I hope, I hope in an alternate reality, this man is uh, raped by a giant beaver. I do. That would be amazing. You should get a punishment to fit the crime, I feel like. And with, uh, maybe with virtual reality, we can make this happen someday. So you, what did you do? Oh, you, you dry humped a beaver as it was dying? Well, guess what? Put this helmet on, strap this guy to a chair, and now he has to endure in virtual reality being raped by a giant beaver. That, that would be my... <laughs> oh, man. That's never going to happen.